and welcome to Buzz TV. I'm your host, Adrienne Houghton, and we have got an exciting show for you today. There's everything from restaurants and charities and galleries and something for everyone, really family favorites. So watch this space and find out more on Buzz TV. Hello, I'm John Rutherford from the United States House of Representatives, and I am a watchstander. Hi, I'm Michelle McManaman from Operation New Uniform, and I am a watchstander, and so is everyone in my organization. I'm Demika Jackson. I'm the president of the Jacksonville Veterans Chamber of Commerce, and I am a watchstander. Hi, I'm Luke Lewis with Xera Realty. I am Ant Stroud with the Ant Stroud Group. Hi, Bruce Thompson. I'm the Vice President of the Veterans Chamber of Commerce. And I am a watchstander. I am a watchstander. I'm a watchstander. Each year, over 6,000 U.S. military veterans take their own lives, including one per week in Northeast Florida. The Fire Watch is our community's fight to end veteran suicide. Join us. Become a watchstander today at thefirewatch.org. Together, we will end veteran suicide. Hello and welcome back to Around Town. I am your host, Tiffany Howard. We've got a Clay County celebrity with us today. Very excited to announce Keith Ward from Thomas May Construction. Well, I don't know about the celebrity part, <laughs> but I am Keith. <laughs> well, welcome to the show, Keith. I'm very excited for you to be here today. There is so much to unpack about um, all the things that you're involved with and your your road to get there. Um, tell us a little bit about the uh, your position with Thomas May as the CEO. Uh, my position with Thomas May, I'm the president and current owner of Thomas May Construction. Um, we were um, we started in 1985. Tom and I both worked for the Haskell Company and decided that we'd go out on our own. And so we've kind of been there ever since, been pretty successful. Tom, is a, I've been running the company for over 20 years. Um, Tom retired probably about 10 years ago, but I actually bought him out um, about six years ago. So that gave me complete control of the company at that time. And for people that don't are not familiar with Thomas May Construction, you guys are a commercial builder. Right. We're a commercial contractor. Um, what we do, we specialize in schools. We built a lot of elementary schools in Clay County, most of the elementary schools in Clay County. We do work in Duval County, Nassau County, and St. John's County. Um, but school work is our specialty. We also do medical facilities. Um, surgery centers, dental offices, doctor's offices, and those kind of things. And we do, um, we do a wide variety of things. We do restaurants, um, retail stores, and those kind of things, tenant build-outs, um, just anything that's on the commercial line. And we do some residential. I also have, um, during the downturn, we also opened up a roofing division. So we, do, we have a commercial roofing division also. Within our company. <clears throat> so many things that you are involved with in uh, Clay County. Um, just to, to mention a few, I know that you are the uh, new incoming president for um, NUFBA, mm -hmm. um, which is an exciting role. So tell us a little bit about that because I know you've been there, your tenure is long. Yeah, so as far how I got involved in NEFTA was, at, NEFTA was actually back in 1992. We became members. At the time, we were members of AGC and also Northeast Florida Builders Association. There's a few commercial contractors that are in the Northeast Florida Builders Association. And the reason why we're there is because of the educational and the governmental affairs. So that was my way of giving back to the community and I became the training vice president. So I was in charge of all the education of NEPA. And of course that is giving back. That's not a job. That's how we, I have actual employees there that, that do work, but I'm a volunteer position. So I, that was kind of like my thing was I wanted to give back to the community by getting younger people involved in the construction industry. Because as we all know, not everyone is cut out to go to college 
may, you know, maybe they're very smart, but they don't, their parents don't have the opportunity to send them to college or they don't want to get into college debt and so forth. So I would get them involved in the apprenticeship program. And how that's involved is they would be working for an employer, a participating employer that pays for their education. And they go to a class at nighttime and then work 40 hour a week during the week. And the employer pays for all their tuition, their books, plus they're earning while they're learning. So therefore, when most college students are you know, graduating with fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 of college debt, um, the participants in the um, apprenticeship program, uh, just say during that four years, they're already making money. So when, when after four years, they could be making up to fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 with no debt at all. So that's how I was giving back to the community. So I held the longest seat on the executive board of Northeast Florida Builders Association. And then so I I decided it was time for me because I'm getting a little older and going to the schools and stuff like that and talking to the younger people is like their dad talking to right. them. You know? so, right. So I said, well, it was time for me to kind of move up. And I moved up in what they call the chairs and then now have become president. Right. So I'll serve my, this year as president, and then next year I'll serve as past president. And then after that, as everybody else says, I get to stand in the back of the room and make right. jokes with all the other past presidents. Well, so not work as hard. but <clears throat> That is an amazing program. We, we, You and I both know with the industries that we're both in that there is uh, there is such a shortage in labor and uh, young people coming up that can have all the skills to be you know carpenters, roofers, all of these uh, skill sets. Speaking of that... <clears throat> Can you share a little bit about where you see the the building supply situation that has gone completely bananas, both for, for everybody building anything, which there's construction going on everywhere in Florida, all over the entire state? Yeah. Well, so I have some some facts that I can bring that in, but I think that part of that, and you know, and I hate that dirty word COVID, but I think kind of what happened is some of the suppliers and some of the factories that produced Appliances. Appliances is a big, um, mm -hmm. you know, t a long lead item time for home builders right now. Or even if you or I try to go out and get a refrigerator, freezer, it takes right. a long time to get one. Um, windows are another one because they're manufactured in factories. And I think that the factories kind of slowed down on their production on a lot of things because they thought that everything was going to get slowed down. Well, as we all know, in Florida, construction just never kept stops. going. We mm -hmm. never stopped. We kept going 100% and moving forward. Um, and, and that's what happened to some of those. As far as lumber, which lumber has increased now by 200%. Um, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Just on the cost of a house, you're talking 30000 extra dollars on a lumber package than what you were paying over a year ago, which, you know, we're all for affordable housing and trying to get housing where we can get our first responders, our military living in and so forth. Well, it's really hard to do. And we try to keep those down to about $200,000. Well, now it's bumped up to two fifty mm -hmm. because of just the increase of materials. Um, as I spoke said earlier, we also have a roofing division. Right now, when we get, we do a lot of metal roofs. Um, mm -hmm. We're not a, a home um, roofer. We do shingle roofs, but we do them on schools and big, you know, buildings and so forth. Yesterday, we got a guarantee for 24 hours, a price guarantee. We can't even get somebody to sign a contract within two or three weeks. So it's really hard. And it's not just my company, many companies. It's hard for us to take and guarantee prices because when I sign a contract, I'm locked into those prices. Well, my supplier is steady going up. They won't guarantee their prices for, you know, most of the time here lately, it's been, you know, 10 days, you know, or whatever, we mm -hmm. can kind of deal with some of that and then anticipate mm -hmm. some increases. Um, but now when somebody gives you a, you know, 48, 24, 28, 48 hour guarantee is almost impossible for us to take and hold our prices. But once we get in contracts, because a lot of our stuff is with local government and municipalities, we're, we're stuck. And so the person that takes that brunt is the contractor. So therefore, we have to raise our prices so we can anticipate right. how much materials are going up. And it's everything. It's not just metal, wood, concrete. You know, whenever fuel goes up, everything that has petroleum in it, it goes up. Mm -hmm. So it's just a constant raise on everything. Well, 
any signs of it uh, coming back? <laughs> um, you know, we get asked that question all the time, and it's kind of like, do you ever see anything come down in price? Yeah. So, and, and, and the thing with wood, that, and this is not really official, it's an opinion, which everybody has opinions. Um, I, I have a farm in Georgia, which I pass a couple of lumber mills. The lumber mills are stocked full of material. I know I have family that are in the timber business and so forth, and, and pulpwood, which pulpwood has come almost to a cease right now, so they're not working at all. Mm-hmm. And it's not the guys that are, that are cutting the trees or the people that own the trees that are getting this increase. It's basically the people that are buying it from the lumber mills that are raising the prices. And again, that's my opinion. I don't have fact on that, right. but but I see it. So right. you know, it, you know, without it sitting written in front of me, and we're doing actually we're doing a big study on that with NEPA now to find out, and we're having panels on that to figure out why there is such an increase in lumber, and you know, there's going to be a little bit of a revolt on this because of the fact of the right. way it's going. Well, <clears throat> good to be in construction in Florida. It's great to be in construction. (laughs) And thank you for all that you do in Clay County. We could sit here and talk all day, but uh, thank you so much for being here and thank you for joining us today. I'm Tiffany Howard with Around Town. Remember to make today count. Greetings and welcome to the Jacksonville Buzz. I'm your host, Adrienne Houghton. Now today, over in Studio 2, Anna Johnston is going to be talking to Heather Porrell. And she owns Grow Family Yoga and more. What is that, you ask? Well, we're just about to find out. So over to you, Anna. Hi, guys. Hi, Heather. Hello. Welcome in. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me so much. Of course. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more. What makes it... What makes Grow unique and special? So what makes us special is that, and I was just telling Adrian before we went on air, that um, I really like her question, so I'm going to kind of go off that one. Go her question it, yeah. is, what made you decide, what could you think that parents and kids could go into a yoga class together? Mm, yeah. And one of the things I noticed with caregivers and parents um, who, you know, who make up a, a large person of the population was that they are interested in taking care of themselves and they're interested in taking care of their physical and um, emotional well-being, yeah. but they're tasked and tired from daily life. Of course. Um, and so a lot of the times they don't always know how or feel confident in their ability to engage with their children. Mm. And one of the things I noticed was why not blend the two um, so that they can get their exercise and physical activity mm-hmm. together, but also Absolutely. learn to play and connect together. And so that's what makes us different is that we offer the chance and opportunities for um, caregivers and parents and, and children to interact positively together and hopefully um, build their connection and bond while yes. exercising. Yeah, which perfectly leads to my next question was like, what do you offer to help change lives in Jax? Which, I mean, that pretty much sums yeah. it up. That's really cool. And yeah. So how long have you been doing that for now? Um, okay, so we've been open since um, February of, what year is it? It's, two, it's 2021. <laughs> <laughs> like, what year is it? I'm getting thrown off, I know. Um, 2018, but I have been teaching family yoga and kids yoga for eight years wow. um, and have traveled nationally teaching others and training others to to, um, do the same. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. So yeah. what makes this like, what makes this important? Why do you think this is important? Well, I think there's a couple of different reasons. I think as um, our society, you know, it's great that we have more tech. I, I'm a, a techie myself, yeah. uh-huh. so you never hear me be like, don't, don't get on your screens. <laughs> I love them. But at the same time, it can make it really difficult for us to move our bodies to take care of our emotional and mental well-being. Um, And and yoga is not a replacement for, you know, therapy and other allied professionals, Mm -hmm. but it's a great part of the the puzzle. And I think that with kids and with parents experiencing so much stress, especially this last year of isolation and worrying about their health and worrying about their their family and friends, their grandparents, um, it gives them additional tools to manage that stress um, and to take care of their bodies. But also, I've really noticed that, you know, when you're in the education field and you're talking about social emotional learning, it helps people, um, kids grow up learning how to connect and interact with other humans more positively. And I think that's really that's important. important. Yeah, especially in this day and age. Now. Yeah, I, exactly. you're evolved, I think we can all use a little more positivity for yes, it. Sure. Exactly. So, yeah. So what's, what's your classes like then? So if I was like to go to one, to your mm-hmm. community and like, mm-hmm. what do you, what's like the. So one are? thing that I really love about our community and it's probably the thing I'm most proud about actually is 
people will welcome you as soon as you walk in. Um, myself, our teachers, we know your first name. We try to remember it so that the next time you come in, you know that you're valued and that we really want you in our space. Yeah. Um, but the other students too are like, hey, my name is Willa Blah. How old's your little one? <laughs> and if it's an adult class, they might even say, you know, what are you, what are you doing right now for self-care? They're really invested in each other. And it's just really awesome. So there's a lot of chatting before and after class. Very cool. um, and then during class, even our adult classes um, are always laced with fun and this sort of idea of embracing that inner child um, so that we can go out and interact with the world again with Absolutely. a little bit more um, more levity, I think, is really important, yeah. too. So it sounds like it's like very a very welcoming community as a whole. Yes. Like it really all plays together. Like everybody, yes. you know, we've got similar like-minded people coming mm -hmm. in and you know, helps families connect together as well exactly. as individually. That's very yeah. cool. Yeah, um, we awesome. have a great Facebook group too. So they get on there, they might meet each other in class and they get on there or they might meet each other in the group first actually. Oh, yeah. And then they'll see each other in person That's and so it's, cool. it's really fun and really cool. And I, a lot Amazing. of them have already made like coffee dates and oh, play so dates. Fun. So to see it flourish like without my hand in it is also really, really fun. That's so cool. Yeah. So what advice would you have for parents and caregivers just coming into this and just figuring this all out, what advice would you give to them? Yeah, so um, don't be afraid to reach out with questions. Um, I actually love text messages. So um, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you can text the business line, we'll text you back. Um, I know some people, it causes a lot of anxiety to get on the phone and ask a bunch of questions, so texts are perfectly Absolutely. welcome. Cool. But the first thing I would say is, it's okay to step out of your comfort zone and it's okay to acknowledge like this is a, this is different for me. Yeah. Acknowledge that, validate that within yourself and then kind of take that step, dip your toe in the water, reach out to us, see how we can give you some suggestions um, and hopefully meeting your goals and connecting with your, with your kids, connecting with yourself and starting on this path to a, um, a more integrated and um, healthy life. That's so cool. Well, thank you so much, Heather. I'm going to be uh, going to do some yoga myself soon now. <laughs> Well, yeah. thanks for coming on. Really appreciate learning about your business and everything. Thank you for it's having me really so much. Awesome. I love talking about it. It is, um, as I was telling you guys, it's my seventh baby. So, wow. um, yeah, I, I, uh, I need went, some stress relief. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Very um, cool. And it's, it's been an amazing journey so far. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Heather. Thank you. Back to Adrian. How fabulous. And uh, if you'd like to know any more information about Heather Horrell and Grow Family Yoga and more, you can always go on to I Wanna Buzz. Com. Sorry to interrupt your show. I'm Steve Strum from Buzz TV. Today we have Troy Farquhar from Integrity Law. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate tell us about tell us about your firm. Yeah, so Integrity Law is a full service law firm. We do mostly family law, but we also practice in estate planning, personal injury, probate, real estate matters. So look us up www.integritylawjacks.com. Thanks for joining us. And you guys can have your show back. Welcome back to Your Legal Buzz. I'm Steve Strum. This morning, we have Jack Spence from Naples and Spence Law. Good morning. Morning, Steve. How are you doing today? I'm good. So we were talking offset. You guys do, let me see if I can get it right, civil, family, and a state law. A plus. Aha, got it. All right, interview's over. Uh, tell us a little bit about your firm. Uh, we have a small firm in uh, St. Augustine. It's myself and a business partner. We have three support staff. We're more than well equipped to handle uh, a small business to a, a multinational business. So we're, we're a pretty full service law firm that's looking to grow and work with good folks. We were talking a little bit earlier about some of the changes. So we've gotten through pandemic. It's now part of our no new normal, if you will. How are you seeing some of the courtroom settings changing now that we are in this wherever we are? Quasi-state. This, this quasi-state. That's great. What, what are you seeing? What are some of the changes? Uh, that's an interesting question, Steve. Historically, at least at my office for the past three years before this, we were probably actually at the courthouse once or twice a week without question. And now I haven't stepped physical foot in a courtroom in over a year. The courts transitioned everything to a virtual setting uh, via the Zoom application. So now you uh, put on your coat and tie, sit in front of a camera and talk with the judge. So it's been a bit of a change from what we're used to. 
So how, how does that work different? I know that, you know, if you're doing something in a, in a civil case and, you know, there's a property dispute, as an example. Well, most of the time people would say, okay, well, here's my, if it gets to that level, here's my exhibits, here's my stuff, here's my stuff, here's my stuff. What are you seeing as a response or a change on that from the client experience? Is that I mean, more efficient, less efficient? Like, how's that work? A little bit of both, which is a fam- famous lawyer answer, of course. So It depends. There's right. another favorite answer. Yes, exactly. So it's more efficient from the standpoint that we can be a little more cost effective with clients. We don't have to drive to the courthouse. We don't have to wait in line. We just need to fire it up and, and log in. It's somewhat less efficient just because we're trained and we're used to going to court with our file and judge, here's my evidence, and you show the evidence to the witness. Now everything's done with a share screen, so you got to give all your exhibits to the court in advance, and they've got to log it, and it's a little more challenging than it used to be. I'm just going to show up with a binder, and I'm ready to rock. Right. Like, yeah, the little cart behind you. You got it. So what are you seeing over the next year or two? Is this the new normal? Is What's going to happen? From my understanding, which is, of course, hearsay. Of course. uh, But this is probably the new normal in the legal field, at least until we get to next year, 2022. So if if you're a litigant in a court case, you need to be tech savvy because you're probably going to be meeting with the judge on a virtual platform. Knowing that we have those changes and knowing that people are probably sitting there going, well, geez, what about my case, right? Because everybody's relevant to what they have. If people want to find out more about you, your firm, how do they connect? That's a good question, Steve. If they want to find out, they can visit our website. That's www.naplesandspencelaw.com. Phone number is 904-657-7117. So you got to come back. Got to figure out. You know, we're seeing. I see you in person. This is great. Yeah. So uh, you know, next time uh, we'll figure out. Let's talk a little bit about how we're going to, uh, I guess, evolve as we go back to seeing people in person. Right. Boards. Yeah, it'd be a little unusual. We're not used to it anymore. I, you have to wear pants. Right. It's yes. crazy. We're wearing pants right now. Pants and shoes. And shoes that might have laces. <laughs> so thanks, guys, for joining us on your legal buzz. If you like us, share us, and remember, live with gratitude take a, a short break and go over to Studio 2, where Susie's talking to Lou Valieri from Guide to Life. Over to you, Susie. Thank you so much, Adrian. I'm really excited to be talking with you today, Lou, or as people know you, Grandpa Lou. Yeah. So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm old and a grandpa. Um, <laughs> starts off the I actually started this business because I'm got, most of my grandkids are in California. Mm-hmm. We're in Florida. So I only get to see them a few times a year. So I started sending them motivational quotes on calendars every month. Mm. And then I decided that, well, they, people change their shirts every day, hopefully. So then I started putting the quotes on t-shirts and started sending them to them. And it's really just kind of to encourage them, educate them, or entertain them. Mm. And I put them together originally in 24 teams of eight. This is like one of my first ones, uh-huh. good, better, best, never let it rest to your good, better is better and your good is best. I messed that up because I'm nervous, but um, <laughs> but it's actually, there's, there's a big story behind this when it's on the website, it's part of a contest as to why that's my favorite quote. Uh-huh. So you got to go to the website to find out, <laughs> kind of .com. another one, issue of doing the right thing. And I had so many quotes, I had uh, 900 of them, and I started with all the tribalism that's going mm-hmm. on, the racial strife and everything else, I wanted to focus on those to try to focus on the social equality that we needed. Yeah. So then I, I still had the Rival Wisdoms t-shirts, but then I added social equalities. Mm. And this is one of my shirts here. It's a Harriet Tubman quote, every great dream begins with a dreamer, because this is a dream of mine, so it's, it's appropriate for me. And I got other ones, I got uh, quite a few others. These are Stop to Think um, motivational sayings. It's easier to build strong children and repair broken men by Frederick Douglass. In another one, you have by also by Harriet Tubman, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. And like I said, I've got 192 mm-hmm. of them that I they ring true to people. They're all over 100 years old, all the quotes, and they're still true. And they still ring true. Mm-hmm. They're still popular. Absolutely. They still have a big impact. I feel either to encourage or educate someone or entertain them. Yes. Um, so that's what, that's been my focus lately. Is just focusing on getting these shirts out, getting the messages mm-hmm. out. Because it's not really a subliminal thing, but you don't have to say it all the time. But people, when they see it, it's big enough people are going to see it. They're going to read it. So it's in their brain. Um, And if they like it, they'll keep thinking it. Mm. Um, And that's really what we want to do is actually just kind of spread some wisdom. Make America wiser and kinder again. Absolutely. Because life's too short to have hatred. We're all all one people. It doesn't matter what color skin you is or have. We're all one people. Mm. We're all people. Absolutely. Um, So this is really just trying to bring people together with social equalities and 
rival with me, you know, it sounds kind of competitive, but it is just because it's just getting a lot of ideas across. Of course. So which and team has the best? I'm going to interrupt you real quick there because I, I think <laughs> you've got everything. Yeah. You guys have all kinds of different products. You, you showed us some of the shirts that you have. You have yeah. masks. Um, what other products do you guys have available? Um, I put the quotes because I like the, the layouts of these teams. So uh -huh. I put them on magnets, like refrigerator magnets, yeah. you know, three, four, five, six inches. I got coffee mugs, uh, uh, mug wisdom, I call them. Um, so you can drink <laughs> Start your morning right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So there's quite a few different quotes. Like I said, I've got 192 of them. I don't have all of them on the magnets or the cups yet, but if you go through my shirts, mm -hmm. you'll see the 192 of them. And if you want to put those, put on a cup or a magnet, just let okay. me know. Absolutely. And I think, you know, really what's nice with, with this concept is, mm -hmm. like you said, these are timeless quotes. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why these figures have remained prevalent. Exactly. And it's because of the wisdom that they have, and it impacts us to this day. You even yeah. have, you know, quotes from Confucius, Lao Tzu. These yeah. are some very old philosophers oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, who, to this day, are still impacting culture and the yeah. way people live their lives. Yeah. So I think it's incredibly important that you're doing this um, and you're providing an education, you know, to people as well with this. This is history. And I believe you also have, you know, with schools closing, yeah. you, you had another product that you're doing. Correct. We, we have, I uh, came up with the easy math wisdom because all this, since all you've got eight people here, mm -hmm. there's a lot of time spans that are between each person. So I set up um, tables where they can do the easy math. It's just subtracting, mm -hmm. you know, birth year from uh, founder year. Um, and then figuring out averages, things like that. So I put them together in booklets. They're all free downloads mm -hmm. available on my guidelife.com website or Easy Math Wisdom. Mm -hmm. We'll take you there too. Um, but it just gives you a lot of work. There's 140 pages. So there's a couple hundred math equations, simple simple math. Yes. And they've all got good topics that are good to discuss with your kids or grandkids. Yeah, and I think it's nice because, again, you're, you're providing something for the community mm -hmm. here with this. And you're, you're doing all you can to make an impact. Okay. Well, well, definitely, because when you think about it, how often do your kids see you in your shirt each day mm -hmm. or see each other? Mm -hmm. So this is giving them subliminal exposure multiple times a day. And when you have exposure multiple times a day, it becomes more ingrained. Yes. So these, if you pick out the right messages that you want to convey, you want to instill in your kids and grandkids, mm -hmm. I think this is a real easy way to do that. You know, okay. if you ask, what are you wearing today? You know, what would yeah. your shirt say? They're going to tell you. Even if they're just learning to read, they're going to know this. Yes. So they'll pick out their favorite, and that can be a guiding light for them. Because everybody famous, in my gut, tells me they had a motto of some sort that motivated them. Mm. It's not just get rich quick. Mm. It's, you know, I've, I've got a meaning to my life. And that's what these messages mean to me. Mm -hmm. And I think they mean the same to other people. That's why they've been around for centuries. Absolutely. And so they have been for centuries. So. Absolutely. Well, anyway. I really appreciate you coming on here to talk to us about this. I think it's incredibly important that you're doing this mm -hmm. for everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. Real quick, okay. what's the website? It's, uh, well, I've got a lot of names for it. Guidelife.com mm -hmm. is the, the primary one. Social Equalities will bring you there. Rivalwisdom.com. Yeah. Easy math wisdom. All uh, kinds of different ways yeah, to get there. Yeah, I've got hundreds of domains. <laughs> Guidelife.com. Yeah. No, I got yeah, you. So Guidelife.com. Guidelife right yeah. That's the best way to go. Correct. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Wow, that was fantastic. What a great show and more interesting businesses. Don't forget, if you need any more information, you can go to iwannabuzz.com. Bye for now.